Hi, I'm Nikki Silver. You're watching SPTV. We are live at the Great Stock Festival 2019. We have got some amazing artists unsigned. We've got some famous faces. We've got a brilliant lineup for you here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, SPTV, Silver Penny TV. Keep loving it. Silver and you're watching SPTV. We are live at the Greystock Festival 2019 for day two. It is very cold, very windy, and it has been absolutely pouring down. But we are here with the amazing Dr. Fox. Joe, when you say it's cold, I mean, to be fair, for a bank holiday, this ain't bad. It's all right, and it hasn't been that rainy, and we're still here, and we're still smiling, and... It's going to get sunnier. Let's give the optimism here. Yesterday was lovely though. It was glorious. I was getting a suntan. Today I'm hiding in a corner in my cardigan. So how have you found the festival so far, my darling? Do you know what? Look, it's been thoroughly enjoyable. Uh, it really has. I mean, the weather's really helped in general, hasn't it? It's been good. Um, crowd's been lovely. I think what's always interesting is coming to these, particularly when you've got a lot of acts that are unsigned turning up, you get a real... You get a real um, insight into what's good and what's bad. And it's, you know, it really is, it's fascinating watching some people who are going to go, you're very good. And there are other people who people might think are very good, but actually they were quite dull. And it's, it really is, once you get on a stage, you can't hide. That's the interesting thing. So, you know, there's so much more to being a great act than just having a great voice, actually. Um, and you can really notice that when you're here, particularly with a small crowd sometimes. So the crowd's been up and down. So when you have a small crowd, you've got to go on there thinking it's a big crowd and give those people the biggest show they can ever have. And it's funny that some people don't have the right mental attitude towards it. And then we've seen a few here. My, my favorite standout's been a young girl called Lauren Halil, who was only 17. She's like a professional dancer. And she, I mean, God, she's so confident for 17, but she can really dance, really sing. And she put on a brilliant show. And it was fascinating is by the end of it, no one knew her out there until complete unknown, but suddenly loads of kids and, and people were coming up saying, can I have my photo, can I have my autograph? And they were doing it because she was good. She really was good and it's kind of, it's fun. and then there are lots of people who have got nice voices and their mums might be here watching them or dads and they'll go, oh you were so good and you go, yeah you could sing but you were boring and there's got to be so much more to it. It's funny, it's such a, you know, such a, when people say what's the magic ingredient, what is that X factor, it's, it's so, it's a combination of a million things isn't it, but sometimes you can see it and you kind of go, and that ain't it, you know, but some, every now and again you do see it and you go, I think we might see you again. So out of this whole weekend, you know, you kind of, like, like Phaser from End Ups, for example, he's really good. He's really good on stage, he's got a great energy, knows what to do, and he's entertaining, right? So, and he talks to the crowd really well, so he's there to put on a show. And that little girl, Lauren, for a complete unknown, was brilliant, you know, so, no, I, th I think it's been a really entertaining weekend. I think Lauren Hallihill, yeah, she's definitely one to watch. She reminds me of a little young J-Lo almost. Yeah, you know, the way she moves, she's, her body's fantastic, how she yeah. dances, the singing, she's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, definitely one to watch with her, I think. Definitely, I would agree. But, you know, it's been, for, for lots of other artists, they just need to also, you have to get experience. So, you know, I'm sure lots of artists have started off not brilliant, but you come on and do things like this and you get experience and you learn from it and you go, okay, that wasn't so good or that, that bit was good. And then you put it together for the next time. And um, hopefully next time it's better. One of my favorites was Kalon Ray. He's fabulous, isn't he? 
Kalon is a very entertaining young man. I mean, and, and sort of in a way, uh, and uh, so I said to him, maybe he needs to dial down the campness sometimes because actually he doesn't need it. If that's a, I think maybe he slightly uses it as a sort of crutch in a way. Don't need to. He's just brilliant. And he's got a great voice, lovely man, and um, good energy to him. And he's talented, you know. So he's got, you know, so he did some, his vocals are really good, actually. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what he does next, actually. Yeah. Thank you for talking to us. Neil Foxy Fox, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, SPTV. To watch more, please subscribe to Silver Penny TV.